in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing a short, a short called La Noria. I had the pleasure to watch it a couple of weeks ago and my mind was blown about how many layers there is to this short and the more you watch it, the better it gets. I genuinely think it's one of the best shorts that I have watched over the last few years and I'm gonna tell you all about it in this episode number 30. So, let's get started. So La Noria is this short uh, directed by Carlos Baena. Carlos is an incredible animator, incredibly talented. And Carlos is most known nowadays for being uh, one of the three founders of Animation Mentor, the first online school for animation. So um, Carlos at some point decided to leave Pixar and uh, I believe one of the projects that he wanted to do was actually direct the short called La Noria. So since that time, I've been incredibly curious to see what this short is. And when I saw the teaser that they actually kind of put out. very much like this is gonna be an amazing short. A couple of weeks back, I got in touch with Carlos and we had a quick uh, chit chat, which was pretty cool. And I watched the short and my mind was genuinely blown by uh, the achievement behind the short at so many different levels. And instead of me explaining to you how the story goes from here, I'm much better allow Carlos to explain to you on this video from Kickstarter and where things were when they first started the project. So take it away. Hi, my name is Carlos Baena. I'm the writer director of La Noria. And this is Sasha Corellis, the producer. For the last 15 years, I have worked as an animator for the film industry. I've had the privilege to work on studios such as Industrial Light and Magic, Pixar Animation Studios, and Paramount Pictures on both VFX as well as animated feature films. Many years back, I decided to make a film called La Noria, which is Spanish for The Ferris Wheel. Lenoria is an animated short film produced as an online collaboration of international artists. We've been working very hard for the past three years. The story is about a little boy who loves to draw and build toy ferris wheels, who after a devastating loss encounters some creatures who turn his life upside down. Lenoria is a very personal story for me. It was inspired by a dark moment in my life where the broken pieces came together in an unexpected way. This project has been a labor of love by the whole crew with an attention to detail throughout the entire process. We really believe in this film and care about it very much. Thanks to the tremendous help of industry friends and colleagues, we have been able to garner so much support advice and enthusiasm to make a good film. We've been collaborating with Swedish film composer Johan Soderquist, who has composed films such as Contiki and Let the Right One In, as well as Spanish sound designer Oriol Tarragó. Both of them have been bringing a very dark, beautiful and emotional sensibility to the film. Producing an animated film requires a tremendous amount of resources and we would love to get your support. We are currently in animation and at a point where funding will be needed to bring the film through production to completion by 2016. As you can see, loads of promise, loads of teasers, loads of uh, nice goodness to actually see there. So some of the animation behind the short, uh, here we see an animator doing some setup and then final animation. Thank you. 
Also, we get a character development video, uh, which shows how much detail they added to the characters. and also how much detail they added to the props and sets behind the short. So in 2018, the shirt started debuting in a lot of festivals. It started to accumulate a lot of awards. Uh, you can go to the website that I'll link down below so you can see a little bit of the stuff that I'm talking about. But still, it was not available to the public. This is going to be available to you to watch on Tuesday this next week. And uh, it's very fitting that it's Halloween. So the short is very much a very emotional ride for the viewer. And when you get to the end, there's this innate sensation that you have to watch it straight away again because you might have missed something. And it's true, and as soon as I watched it, immediately after, I kind of started picking up on a lot of the stuff. Little details, little nuances. So when you first watch it, you know that it's beautiful, you know that it's really well executed. As an animator, I was looking at the animation and I was like, wow, this is really polished, and this is like AAA quality. Rendering was amazing, props and sets were amazing, animation was, was incredible. Little details, everything felt very flashy, very natural, very well done, very well rendered. And the thing that got me the most, and the thing that you don't really see so much in shorts, was the score. And that was something else, that was really, really well executed. It all revolves around music, without spoiling it, and that little music played on the short it's very beautiful and very addictive and it just stays in your mind. Um, and you can tell that Carlos, uh, throughout the whole movie, he didn't really want anything to be low quality. I think that's why this short has been in production for over seven years. It, these things take time and to actually get all the pieces and to get everyone in your team and it must be a lot of spinning plates that have to come together in the end. magic of shorts is that in a very small period of time, if the short is really well done, you get sucked in into the story and you, you feel almost like you've watched a long movie even though it's been only 10-15 minutes. Even after 7 years of wait for the short to come out, the short has surpassed my expectations, which is something that I don't really say often. If you have 10-15 minutes to spare, then definitely give La Noria a watch because um, I think he's gonna do great things and I hope he gets even more awards than he has at the moment because he deserves it. I will, after the short drops on Tuesday, link it down below on this video so you guys can go and have a look. And that's all I had. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and as always, stay well, stay safe. Peace. You still around? Great! <laughs> In that case, 
click here to watch more episodes or click here in order to subscribe to my channel. I thank you deeply, I appreciate it, and I hope to see you next week when I drop more videos here in this channel. See you then.